Mm. You're sitting in front of your logo, right? So, and I didn't know about you until you popped up on Clubhouse the other day, which is where we met. And then I reached out to you and then I saw what you do. And I thought, oh, okay, this is really interesting. I had no idea. And uh, it seems like it's really fleshed out. So what is the Think Network and how long have you been doing this for? Think Network is um, Europe's fastest growing empowerment platform, not bar none. It's number one in Europe and it's the fastest growing empowerment platform. In fact, it's that should it should probably be saying planet. The reason I say that, and I say it confidently, is this. There is nothing else on planet Earth doing what we're doing the way we do it. Um, and I have been doing it for about two years. Um, we formed a limited company and just before lockdown last year, January, I was I had a 95 job and I left it in July, right in the middle of the pandemic and just embarked off uh, empowering and motivating and inspiring the world one event at a time one webinar empowerment show meditation accountability group mastermind inner circle podcast you name it we've we brought it all together in one space for our members with bespoke content on a daily basis and i was asked just the other day uh, by a guy that is going to be um i'm going to be working with they said to me who is your competition and I swear to you now, I, mean, I, had to, I had to think, and I sat and thought and thought and thought, and I messaged him back. I said, we don't have any. I said, we are, we are out on our own, like a country mile. I feel, I feel like we are like light years away, ahead, far away, on our own, doing what we're doing. And I don't see any, I don't see competition anyway, but I, didn't, I certainly don't see doing what we're doing. I've, I've looked far and wide. Like, I just can't see it and don't see it. It doesn't exist. My eyes. Uh, so, so, but it's specifically about empowerment, right? It's that's really yeah. the anchor. Okay, I got yes. you. Because I was going to yeah, say, yeah. I did notice, uh, I mean, I didn't notice, I know about Mind Valley Labs and Vision, who runs Mind Valley Labs. It, yeah. it, it, they do provide a lot of the content. Uh, yeah. but, but yours is very much entrenched in that female empowerment, which is another topic I want to get to in a second. But yeah, yeah. so just saying, that maybe you're right. Maybe there's no direct competition, which is a good thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah. why why female empowerment? Like, how come you, out of all people, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking to you as a guy who runs a, a platform that's really directed towards women. So I just, I want to hear your answer before I give my... <laughs> Yeah, well, female female empowerment is part of what we do, part of who we're involved, uh, targeted to, but not all of it. It's part of it. It's integral to it. Um, but we are. It's a, we have many many male members of our platform. Um, but female empowerment is something that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about because um, a lot of females have had major impacts. Quite often, you'll find anybody that's made big breakthroughs or ran with an idea. Quite often, it's from personal experience or something that's triggered them personally that has uh, they, that they went off and created this monster buff. And um, female empowerment. I have female mentors who have had major, major uh, impacts in my life, even over the last four or five years. Major impacts in my life that I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you now doing like, this. Like year. what? Like what? What are you, what are you referring to? Advice, support, mentoring, um, believing in me, um, and so on and so forth. That that that's that's what I'm referring to. Um, being inspirations and motivations in my life, showing me the way uh, and the pathway in the entrepreneurial world and and business, and as a person, by the way. And uh, and I just I've, I also have seen a lot of inequality um, in different workplaces I've been in and in society, and I don't see enough men who are in positions to of influence to influence positively I, I see a lot of talking people will talk about it um right. but i'm very much i'm very much all action and talking talks talks cheap right unless it's followed up by followed up by intention and action and uh so um i don't see enough of it and i just thought i i and also here's another thing um, over the last year, <clears throat> organically, our platform has about 80% female membership. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's there's lots of the timing for everything in this world, right? And 
with everything going on in the world, females are feeling more empowered than they ever have been. They are feeling the need and want to be in more empowered and they want to be heard more than ever. And I seen it as my responsibility. I took it on myself as my responsibility to be a voice for that. And that's why I champion it so, so much. Right. That's fascinating. So, and I think I can mirror your sentiment when it comes to the timing yeah, really, really, really agree with that. Like right now, it's all about making things right. It's the Me yeah. Too movement. It's the, you know, all of those kinds of like, let's fucking do something now, right? Because we have this chance to actually get the momentum. And yeah. 80% of our audience is women as well. And yeah. I didn't, I did it sub I did it subconsciously, I think. I didn't genuinely like go for women as a conscious activity. It just neither happened did. to me. Neither did I. Neither did I. Right. Just, there's, an, there's an appetite for it. There's an and appetite. I get, I get contacted all the time. So that's why I went big with it then. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's why That's why we went big with it. We we, we, we developed the Female Emb- Empowerment Ambassador Program. Mm-hmm. Um, we're female Empowerment Ambassadors from all around the world. <clears throat> and uh, that just blew up. Mm. Wow. Absolutely blew up. So... Yeah, it's a it's an exciting time, and um, loads more to come. We're only a baby; we're only starting. So, and we don't have it all figured out. I certainly don't. So it's um, I'm working away every day. Um, like we touched on it earlier, consistency, turning up every day, taking that incremental steps towards your goal. We the law averages. We I, we I won't be, and we won't be denied in our goal because we ain't going anywhere. Mm. Like I'm going to keep continually moving forward, even my even on my worst day. Right. I'll still turn. I still. I'll still turn up and do something. I'll still schedule that social media post. I'll still turn up in that podcast. I'll still drop that DM. I'll still send that email. On my worst day, that's my worst day. So, and, and do you think I mean, that that's because you? Were you always that way? Were you born that way? Do you feel like there's something no. about? Is it? Is it passion? Is that what you would call it? Is it like a responsibility? Purpose. 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 This this is bigger. When you find something that's bigger than you, then it's very uh, hard not to be motivated and inspired by um, the vision and mission, you know, and, and the greater good. And 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 that's what I'm motivated by. My my motivations, like you know, I'm like a. I feel I feel like a. I've said this before. I said it in my own. I said it in my own TED talk. Actually, I feel like a Formula One car with an unlimited fuel tank. Right. That's, that's what. Way. That's what. I, that's what I feel like. Honestly, I'm in a relentless charge through life. Like uh, like just you know, like a relentless machine. And um, we won't stop. Can't stop. Don't want to stop. This is life. I love this life. Yeah, yeah. There's so much more value in seeing the reward from what you sow than there is in getting your paycheck at the end of every month, doing something that you hate. And I think it's my job, one of part of my job is to try to help people get off the hamster wheel because you, you're on the hamster wheel, you're running, you're out of breath, and you're trying to keep up with it because it's not in your control. And you get that paycheck at the end of the month, and it kind of numbs you, and you're like, oh, you know, that's what I was waiting for. Yeah, life's good, right? We go out, we buy a pair of sneakers or whatever it is. And then the money runs out, and you're like, find yourself back in this survival mode where you're running. And that's an awful feeling to have to go through every single day, every single month. And when you like a formula one car right it's like you're taken off that hamster wheel and now you have a mode of transport now you don't have to run anymore now you know where you're going now you can choose and i think that that's where finding it is the passion the purpose is what set me free and why i would like to say that i come in on my worst days as well like i mean my assistant begs me to relax. Uh, it's just what you do when you feel like you're actually having an impact. And I think deep down inside, we all want to be of service. We all want to be valuable and uh, helpful and, mm-hmm. and, and see that kind of validation from other people. Um, and I think that's very healthy. So yeah, hopefully this conversation that we're having is like inspiring people to actually start thinking, thinking outside the box in a yeah. Here's something very basic I'll share with you, right? 
I, I, I have always had, I followed my passion to find my purpose. If somebody's listening to this and they're thinking, well, I don't know what my purpose is in life. I'm in a 95 that I hate or whatever it is, right? Think about this here and write it down. <clears throat> write down what are the five things that you love doing? Is it drawing? Is it art? Is it going to the gym? Is it reading books? What is it? What are the five things that you love doing? Write it down. Then write down in the right-hand column, Five things that you're good at. What are your five talents? What are you actually good at? You know what I mean? Are you good at meeting new people? Are you good at developing relationships? Are you good at mathematics? Or what are you good at? Five mm-hmm. passions, five talents. What are you good at? Then get somebody, get get two or three people to look at that and get them to pick what they feel you are best at and what your talents are. Because one of the five on each on each list are, but get some external advice as well. Then look at people. So you've got the thing that you're good at. You've got the thing that you're passionate about. And then look at people in that sort of genre. Who is, who is, who is good at meeting people and loves going to the gym? So who, who, who in your genre is uh, like a serial, like, like is, that is doing really, really well with a big following? at uh, personal training or whatever it is. Then strategically network with people like that. Proximity is power. Get to know these people. Get advice from these people. Collaborate with these people. Join free groups. Get on LinkedIn. Set up your profile and start meeting the people that are doing what you're passionate about, but also what you're good at. Mm. And then the last thing is, and here's where the the not-so-secret is, Find out how do you monetize that, mm-hmm. you know? How do you monetize that? So how do you monetize what you're passionate about, what you're good at, looking at the people that are doing it? How do you monetize that? And you'll only learn that by looking at what they're doing, how are they monetizing it, how are they doing it, and ask them to mentor you. Ask ask them to talk to you for a month or two for free. You'll mm-hmm. push their ego. People ask me all the time. It always makes me feel good when somebody wants an hour, half an hour of my time because – they're trying to get out of that dead end job, and it makes me feel good that I'm their benchmark. Mm-hmm. And then find out how to monetize the damn thing. If you want it enough, you'll find a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if yeah. you can't find it, you want it enough. Yeah, I, I I love that. By the way, that's a great strategy. So practical and so easy, so simple rather. And it's um, the success equation, my friend. That's what it's called. Right. Nice. Nice. And uh, okay, here's where I think most people fall off. It's like maybe they'll do a bunch of this work, right? And then they'll start to go out and things will start to get uncomfortable. And then maybe they'll be like, but nothing's happening. Like a week in, they'll be like, but nothing's happening. A month in, nothing's happening. Yeah. A quarter, half a year, a year in, nothing's happening. I remember reading, no, I watched a video, Quentin Tarantino, he's been interviewed. And um, he he was asked like when when was your when was your are you enjoying your success and like it seems like you just like came out of nowhere and he said you know what i'm going to tell you a secret he said i've had like this movie this movie this movie come out that have all been hits but what people think was an overnight success was like for years for like a decade was just me just failing over and over again i mean it is terrifying to think about failing for that long but mm. look at what happens if you keep at it right quentin tarantino is like probably the most popular filmmaker that when his name pops up you know exactly who it is and i mean he's a good example of the, the fact that he said that of just kind of seeing something through and if you love it and if it's part of that grouping that you mentioned and people mm. also that you respect and you know, you know think are credible also think that's a good idea for you to get involved with it I mean, wow, yeah, work the part-time job, you know, like find some resources to keep you going. Yeah, and you see, here's one too. You see if you're finding yourself that, you, that you're that you susceptible to giving up, it's perhaps not the it's perhaps not the right goal. You know, it's, when I say not feeling, let, let me rephrase that. We all have times where we think, right, what, you know, I can't do this or this isn't working or whatever. And so, But when you actually go and give up, when you stop doing it that day, two days, three days, four days, perhaps 
you either don't want it enough, it's the wrong goal. But here, here's something that I would share with you and share with anybody listening. It, I follow your passion in life, you'll find your purpose, right? So I, that's what happened to me. I followed my passions. My passions were helping other people, connecting with other people, meeting new people, uh, building relationships. And then it led me into personal development. And I started to uh, work my sphere of influence and proximity being power, got up close and personal with people, and then figured out how to monetize it. And here we are, right? So, so, but here's the thing that ensures my motivation is like never, ever, ever ending. I know why it's my passion. And I know why it's my purpose. It's a deeper understanding. You know, people say, oh, I'm here to add value to the world. Yeah, okay, you and four billion others. Right, so why? Oh, I want to do it because I want to lead a better life. Right, okay, why do you want mm-hmm. to lead a better life? Oh, because uh, I grew up and we didn't have much money. Right, okay, now we're getting somewhere. So mm-hmm. why is that a driver for you? Do you want to lead a better life? Oh, because I remember the time that I had it. I didn't, I couldn't go to school because I had no shoes or whatever. Why did that bother you so much? Uh, because I was laughed at. And, you know, and you go, you go deep, 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 seven levels deep, it's called. Seven levels deep exercise. Do it sometime with somebody. And I'll tell you, powerful beyond belief. I'll tell you what my way is. Okay. I'll share my way with you right now. My way is to make my wife and children proud of me. Here's why. Because my parents weren't proud mm-hmm. of me. Or at the very least, didn't demonstrate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How profound is that? Yeah, that is very deep. Yeah. Now, the fact that I know that, the fact that I know that that's my way, can you see why I might be in a relentless charge every day? Mm-hmm. That's I'm wondering I, though, I'm also wondering now, like, does it go against the grain of, do you feel like that goes against the grain of a lot of psychological uh, therapies, for example? Okay, mm-hmm. now that you know that that's what's driving you, do you want to release it? Do you want to? He is, already have, already right. have. Yeah, I already have. I, I, I released it a long time ago, my friend. Mm. I released it a long time ago in that in that I released it from the point of view that I have forgave my mother and father. I understand my mother and father. Um, I don't hold any resentment. There is no well feeling. It is all love, no problem. You like it's about emotional intelligence, right? It's about culture, it's about timing. They didn't know how to tell me they love me. They didn't know how to make me feel 10 feet tall. I forgive them totally. Mm-hmm. However, it doesn't change the fact that it happened. Mm-hmm. It doesn't change the fact that I'm now married with children of my own. And it doesn't cha- change the fact that I want my wife and children to be proud of me the way I felt that my mother and father weren't. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't, there's no negative, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It, it's just, it's just an understanding and a realization of the situation. And I just use that as fuel to just rocket fuel me and propel me through life. And it's all love. It's all good, honestly. Right. You're right. So it's not coming from a place of like, you know, uh, of emptiness. Spite, uh, spite or emptiness or, you know, a defiance or now nah, love. Of course, coming from. So, so Russell Brand recently appeared on the Jordan Peterson podcast and they were talking about, well, Russell was going off on a monologue about how, you know, he's got the, uh, the ego driven, uh, mindset most of the time in his career, he's been chasing this emptiness, like an, an addict, which is his thing. And he kept saying, you know, I was like, looking for me in all these places that, you know, you shouldn't really be looking. And then Jordan said, you know, but that's actually quite healthy. Some of that, a lot of what you're saying is actually healthy because we need to be driven by something to produce some value. And it's a great driver that, that, that. So it started me thinking, and it wasn't just him. I've heard this before, but I think that was really kind of like the turning point for me to start looking at ego as not, entirely a bad thing it's actually very powerful it can really yeah. give you a lot of value in others in your life 
So maybe there's something to what you're saying now for me as well. It's like, I reckon a lot of what I do is driven by childhood, obviously childhood patterns. And yeah. um, not all of them were, I don't think I've let all of them go. Um, yeah. But that's probably explaining why I'm such a, a manic hustler. Yeah. yeah. And that's okay. And that's, and that's okay. okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's about just, you know, I think it's about embracing yourself. Like, here's something I talk a lot at the minute about self image and about um, self confidence and about self image and about emotional intelligence and all. There's a lot of that going on at the minute with what we're doing. And um, self image for me, your, your self image, you actually only truly fulfill or heighten your own self image when you fully accept yourself. I fully accept me. Warts and all, you know, I fully accept me. I'm an imper I'm I'm imperfectly perfect. Like, you know, I I make mistakes every day of the week. Um, and I'm not perfect. I don't want to be perfect. I never said I'm perfect. But I'll tell you what I am. My heart's in the right place. I am a good person. I am trying to add value to the world. I do have values. I do have integrity. Mm-hmm. I do love my family. I do love other people. And I can live with that. I'm pretty I'm pretty settled with that. You know what I mean? And uh, it took me about 42 or 44 years to find that. And I'm very, very, very calm and zen in that place mentally. Like there's nobody alive that would phase me from that that place. Um, and I'm very, very, very cool, calm and confident now in me because I know me, I understand me and I fully accept me. And um, that's a good place to be. Did that come from doing those exercises, the seven levels? And um, no, not, partly. Partly, it came from everything that I do. Mm. It, it, come, it comes from everything that I do. I come. I do. I I invest a lot in my mindset, my personal development, my sphere of influence, my network, my 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 life, and um, that that uh, that accumulates in being like this. You know, it's um, it's it takes work. It took me a lot of work to get here, but I'm here now. Do you think that and that's something that um, we need to pay more attention to, like what we invest in? I, I am, I'm referring to, you know, financially, time as well. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Here, listen, I'll tell you this here. Here's, here's a bit of advice that was given to me, and it's one I've taken on board. If something doesn't add value to your life, right? If this podcast didn't add value to my life or add value to your life, we shouldn't be doing it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or add value to your listeners or whoever. It has to add value to your life. Otherwise, it's taken it away from your life. It's taken away the time, the energy, the time. The the, the it's taken away financially because you could be making money elsewhere or doing something else. So for me, if something doesn't add value to my life, and equally, if I can't add value to that project, then I don't do it. Mm. I honestly, I, I, it's one of my values. If I can't add value for you today, or uh, it's not adding value to my life in terms of reaching your audience or meeting your good self and building a relationship with you and seeing what outcomes there could be and blah, 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 then there was no point in doing it. And that's not negative. That's not me being, that, that's, that's actually being positive because what use am I to you if I don't turn up here positive or I don't turn up here my best self? Yeah, if I turn up guarded with a toxic vibe, like sure, that's no good to anybody. So if it add, if it doesn't add value, don't do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, kind must, of like it must, it must add value. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, we only maybe we only live once. We don't know, but it 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 looks like it could be. So I keep yeah. telling people, you know, if you only live once, you don't know when you're going to die. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Snap out of it. Uh, let's talk about Think Network. Um, what? What kind of services, what kind of education, what kind of projects and products does it offer? And what are the most popular ones? Like, what are people more invested in when it comes to your uh, organization? Good question. Uh, We have got a membership. This isn't a sales pitch, by by the way, to anybody. Um, It's just we have a membership platform www.thinknetwork.co, $7.99, $9.99. And it gets you access to our content, our our empowerment member content. And what that gets you access to is weekly and monthly bespoke themed 
meditations. That's the first thing. Um, so you could we we do meditations on know the book the four agreements. I've got um, it. Um, yeah, yeah. Don Miguel Ruiz and um, Think and Grow Rich. It could be psycho cybernetics, whatever. We do. We like to do bespoke meditations. It's like personal development meditations. Um, so you're getting educated while you meditate, and it's uh, very interesting. Uh, it's just a slightly different take. Uh, we do that. They're bespoke. We make them up and done them ourselves, which is why they're not there. You know, you'll not find the same thing anywhere else. Um, we have uh, our global female empowerment ambassador uh, program, which is our global female empowerment ambassadors drop monthly articles onto our site on their area of passion um, within our monthly theme. And we have a very diverse range. We have uh, conflict strategists. We've got LGBTQ plus community. We have got financial uh, wealth manager empowerment. We have got entrepreneurs. We have got mental health people. We've got IVF advocates. You name it, that's there, right? Racial discrimination in the States, everything, it's there. And they drop their content. And so it's appealing to everybody. Um, that's in the 799. We have got daily empowerment shows. There's a 30 minute show every day, guaranteed from Monday to Friday, where I sit down for 30 minutes with somebody like yourself or whoever it might be, different, all walks of life, different levels of life. And we talk about their inspirations, motivations, goals, mindset, hacks, what's working, what's not. It's like masterminding every day. Nice. Right? Providing hacks, providing gold nuggets, providing information, providing empowerment uh, every day of the week. Well, five days of the week, and then at the weekend, um, we have we have got um, we also have got uh, universal law series, which is where I study the universal laws with a global advanced law of attraction practitioner every Wednesday on the platform. Every Thursday on the platform, we have a mental wealth series, not mental health, mental wealth. It's about thriving, not surviving. Wow. We shouldn't be except we shouldn't be trying to survive in this world. We should be trying to thrive. It's your it's your it's your God given right to to succeed in this world and have abundance in your life. You deserve all the health, all the wealth, all the money, all the good relationships. You deserve that, right? I deserve that. We all deserve that. It's whether we go and do it, go and get it, or make the choice to have it, right? Mm -hmm. Um and and we promote that. We do that every week. We've got a neurodiversity series every week where we have got a leading autistic author and father who runs a neurodiversity international business. And we talk about different factors that affect autism, autism in families, autism at school, autism in workplaces. So, and I'm only scratching the surface telling you what's on it. Like there's mastermind groups, there's accountability groups, there's um, public speaking mentoring because I'm involved with TEDx. Um, there's webinars where we, 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 we pick topics and we bring in panels of specialists and that's free and that's on the site. We've got, we, I'll tell you better than that, we've created the, the first ever empowerment awards in Northern Ireland ever. And so we, we're celebrating the greater good in Northern Ireland for a free event, live streamed to 500 people on YouTube. And we're celebrating man of empowerment, woman of empowerment, couple of empowerment, international man, international woman, desire and purpose award, influencer of empowerment. Like, I'll tell you, where have you heard that before? Yeah, that's pretty novel. That like, is show me, novel. show me, show me. It's not there. Yeah. It's not there. It's not there. Somebody will have played about with it somewhere. Google it. You might see it somewhere back. They don't even know what it is. What's empowerment mean? You know what I mean? Nobody is doing it anywhere. And we are. And we're out on our own. Like, honestly, I'm trying to be humble here. We're out on our own maybe 10 years away on our own. Away on our own. And you know why? Because it's all beast book. It's all authentic. And it's all ours. And there's only one of me. There's only one of you. And ours, ours, ours isn't a Bob Proctor program or a Tony Robbins inspired program or any other damn program. We're the program. We're the platform. Mm. We are it. We are it. It does sound incredibly unique. There's a lot going on there. Um, 
So we're only a baby. We're only a baby. We're only a baby. We have to improve. We have to improve, and we will. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, you've been around for what two years now, almost. Yeah, full time, full time, less. Right. Well, you but, know, um, it's it's short a space of time, uh, in, and for you to be doing all this already, like so. You so how did you start it? Like what what did you begin with? I began two and a half years ago. I wonder if I have it here to show you. Bear with me a second. Yes, I do. Do you see this? This here, right, is a phone. Right, we're looking at a phone. Yep. Looking at a phone, and you open it up. I don't know if you can see that. Do you see the cracked edges on it? It's definitely a, an awful looking old phone with broken yeah, right. glass on it. Yeah. Yeah. So about two years ago. I was sitting on my sofa at home and I was starting to connect with I, LinkedIn is a, a platform I was embracing at the time, right? I kept that phone for that reason, by the way, for this reason. Um, and I was sitting on my phone and I was LinkedIn. I was I was I was becoming I was more visible on LinkedIn than I ever had been. And I started to think to myself, wouldn't it be great if all these people that are online were together in one room? Particularly all these trailblazers in Northern Ireland, where I'm from, are all champion and, you know, goals and success and achievement and collaboration and all this thing. And I was thinking, imagine the energy in one room. Imagine if you had all these people together, that, that, that relationships were being built, networks were being formed. And, and I'm, like, I'm not even, would you believe it? You see that word network? I, I can take and leave that. You know what I mean? As much as it's, it's my brand. It's more. It's it was more about the thinking of the, uh, building relationships with people and networking. Networking is a word that a lot of people don't like, or a lot of people shy away from because of confidence, or because they don't have the ability to, or because they're not, you know, they're not confident in themselves to go and do it. So anyway, I was thinking, I was sitting on the sofa and I was thinking about my network. Right. Uh -huh. I, I was thinking. I was thinking to myself. Imagine everybody was thinking about their network, and they were. You know, they actually thought about their network and thought about building relationships within that network and brought it, brought it all together. And that's where the word think network just came from organically sitting on the sofa that night. And uh, I had Wi-Fi. I had uh, I had no credit in my phone and no nothing. I hadn't even a logo, nothing. And I just, I, I said to myself, I'm going to hold a motivational speaking event. Mm. And I'm going to get people together and they're going to speak and we're going to be buzzed in that room. And I'm going to meet some great people and God knows what will come from that. And we did. We had an event, and uh, that was two and a bit years ago. And then it's me. It just grew, 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 grew. Pandemic came, and then it blew up. Um, so it actually now, got more now, popular during the pandemic. Oh yeah, yeah. The pandemic was was timing again. Up timing meets hard work. Hard work uh, uh, meets opportunity, and then yeah, that's where everybody thinks you're lucky, and. Um, we we very quickly it's actually quite funny because um I had never I didn't even know what Zoom was oh. until last March. Didn't know what Zoom was, hadn't a clue. And the the lockdown happened and I had threat I said to myself, Well, we have a, we have all these events planned, what are we going to do? Um somebody somebody says to me, well, you need to get online. And I had been procrastinating. I just hadn't done it. So we actually forced me to do it. So what I did was I jumped on a Zoom, um, a Zoom uh, like a workshop on how to do it, and then downloaded it. And then I helped me being me, I just went in right into the neck. I held five Zooms, five webinars back to back the following week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. At the end of the week, I was an expert, yeah. and so, so much so. Here's the funny bit: I was then being contacted by people all over Northern Ireland wanting coached on how to do Zoom. Webinars, okay, webinars, that's that funky name. But what, like, who's people were doing the odd one, but I done five back, they back, they back, they back, they back online that week, streaming everywhere in Northern Ireland. And people then were coming to me to be trained up on Zoom. And I was like, fuck, if you only knew, you know? Um, and then, and then I was just seen as a bit of a thought leader in, in, in doing that. And, just I've always had an eye for opportunity. And then I started to bring groups together online. We started to monetize that online. And uh, and here we are. So Nice. And it seems to be going really well. I'm so happy that I bumped into you on that Clubhouse. Clubhouse, totally different topic. 
I think that's great. Yeah. Great platform. If anyone's listening to this thinking, what's the next opportunity? It could be Clubhouse. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, no, I really appreciate it. You know, uh, a lot of value you've given today. I really hope that this gives you value too. Um, and yeah. yeah, anyone who is interested in anything we've talked about, definitely get in touch with Gary or visit thethinknetwork.co. Yeah. Um, and here, I'll tell you what I have for your, for your, for your viewers. Yeah. I have a free self-confidence ebook to give to your viewer, to give to your listeners. It's totally free. There's no catch. I'm not even trying to capture their email address. It's not cool. about me trying to bring people in. So genuinely, I mean that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to that. Definitely let me know and I'll send it out and we'll put it in the link in the description here. Um, but thanks, uh, Gary. Where can people see you online on uh, social? Um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, Think Network. Just type it in. Big yellow logo. Can't miss it. There's a new phone, by the way. Nice. We don't hang. We, <laughs> yeah. we don't hang. A little bit of an upgrade my, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cotton age now, my friend. It's good that you kept that old phone. It's good memories. That would keep you motivated for sure. Um, I got I got pictures somewhere of my lowest times. It's it's yeah. a good thing to do. Um, yeah. So yeah, thanks so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. And it's been a pleasure. It's been a great conversation and I uh, hope to see you again in the near future. Thank you too, brother. I really appreciate your time. You're doing great work. I love your attitude and um, keep doing you, man. Keep turning up. 